boundaries were not a factor, what would your dream community look like? It's a beautiful thing, the idea that we can live in harmony and exist next to each other, together. But what's even more intriguing is the fact that we can freely interact and do business with each other as an integrated community. East Africa is a bustling hub where six countries with a mosaic of tribes and cultures coexist, hustle and harmonize. construction of idea is more or has been more an experiment. We had so many questions at the beginning and we were not sure whether we would succeed. The idea that citizens are the drivers of regional integration has for many years been left behind. We have seen this coming through the limelight with idea. IDEA is a way of bringing integration to smaller organisations and, citi and citizens of the EAC. The biggest success from day one was that people submitted ideas and really great ideas and really different ideas. For the uninsured in East Africa, Clinic Pesa leverages the popularized and existing mobile money infrastructure to extend healthcare micro savings and loans that are more convenient and affordable than traditional health insurance through a platform to set aside dedicated healthcare funds. It's offering an opportunity for those organizations to experiment with the opportunities and freedoms afforded to them by integration. And this experimentation is what we're interested in. A surge in economic development in the agricultural, cultural, education and technology sectors and a wave in fostered common unity, or as you may alternatively put it, community, has only increased the region's clout. When uh, the incubator for integration and development in East Africa uh, 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 advertised a call for funding, which we applied for, and they provided us with uh, funding that we managed to, uh, together with our colleagues, uh, to set up this mobile app that we thought would benefit uh, youth like us who are looking for jobs. This app helped me get a job with the Kampala, Kampala City Council Employment Authority. And through that, uh, the pro I worked on a project called, uh, which was basically enhancing students, quality of students internship and uh, through that we, we did a great deal of work in several universities, uh, one of them being Chambogo University, uh, Uganda Christian University, as well as Nkumba University. I got exposed to the various ways in which organizations need their interns to conduct the various things they expect from interns and I've so far also gotten a chance to interact on the platform with other people doing, pursuing the same course in the various institutions. Our main target group uh, for this project were youth uh, mainly from the universities and technical institutions in Uganda and Kenya who are basically looking for jobs. As the university, we came in and we shared the different ideas that could be of benefit to our students and at the same time that could be benefit to our staff. We also have other target groups like uh, the employers, uh, entrepreneurial training organizations and academic institutions and out of those we have reached about uh, so far six universities who we have signed MOUs with. Uh, we have also engaged about um, 25 employers already and uh, if you check on our system they are already registered there. And also, of course, uh, entrepreneurial organizations that we have engaged are up to about 25. Through this app, I can say it, it's really been a great change to my life. I'm able to sustain myself. I'm able to, you know, do work, you know, with several agencies. I could say life is a lot better.
The mission uh, of CIDEA is to use culture as a resource uh, to stimulate innovation. And so uh, we came up with the idea of creating a creative economy incubator so as to support uh, fashion designers, filmmakers, and uh, musicians in East Africa. Before the IIDEA project, we had several groups uh, of only Tanzanians to it, but specifically with the IIDEA project, we've reached 89 youth uh, from Uganda and Tanzania. The impact is kubwa kwa zaidi ya kutukutanisha na wasani kutoka Africa, lakini pia imeleta impact ya kwangu mwenyewe kuwa kwa sasa najitambua kama msani na ni kwa jinsi gani tatumia sana yangu kufikisha ujumbe katika sehemu fulani. And for the fashion and accessory designers, they also had an infusion of making garments using two uh, fabrics that are happening locally, you know, leather and cotton. So starting from the creation of an idea to, you know, a finished product up until marketing it online on the business aspect. Before participating in this program, I was just a fashion designer and now I'm a fashion entrepreneur. I run a small workshop where I produce clothes and garments on a small scale. The bootcamp provided a very creative space for the participants and, the, and to, to go work and share the ideas with the other, other participants. It was facilitated by East Africa's finest fashion icon and entrepreneurs that helped us improve our technical skills and business skills. Culture is a priority within the uh, common market protocol. Uh, the idea that culture brings people together, uh, culture is uh, valuable for the creative economy, already places the work that we are doing uh, within the agenda of the East African community. That experience of moving from your country to another country to come experience what the other countries is doing, as in having a mash of Uganda and Tanzania over together, so it created, you know, collaborations that as part of a success. Idea, ili leta impact kwa sani, kama kwa mfano sami, sikuwa najua ni kwa jinsi gani naeza kupeleka sana yangu semflani. Lakini ilivo kuja, leta ile muamuko, ok, naeza kutumia sana yangu kumpelekea mtu mwingine message, au naeza kutumia iyo sana kufikisha ujumbe katika semflani. Kwa hiyo ileta impact kubwa kwetu na generation ndoga ambayo inaendelea kukua. When we saw the call for proposals for the IDEA projects, we had to use our own experience getting our students to do internship and also those that we host. Okay, I got to know about the IDEA project through a friend. I, I was looking for internship placement, so a friend told me to download the app and, and sign up, which of course I did. I was able to search through some of the organizations that signed up with with the with the Procazia app. So I was able to get Arua Beats and now I'm working at Arua Beats. The East African Community Integration has the Common Market Protocol, which actually provides for free movement of labor, people, goods and services. And with this, we are actually trying to solve the issue of movement of labor. So by offering opportunity for people to go across borders to do internship, we believe that we can be in position to actually help in the integration because the labor market will be uniform across different countries. This app has changed my life in a way that initially I was unemployed, but now I'm working with Seford under the project of Arua Beats. I'm able to support my family in buying all the necessities that the family needs. I'm able to support my siblings, especially my sister, pay her at school and buy all her requirements that she needs. And I have a baby who I also have to support. We target basically students for the core of the project, which is focusing on internship, but the same platform can also reach out to graduates and organizations or companies, because in the recruitment, we need all the stakeholders, as well as the institutions that are training the students. While it is obvious 
someone uploads their their details about different sources and we automatically generate the CV. But what is more interesting is how someone can maintain touch with the employer. Swear is uh, a women run organization uh, with uh, focus on job creation, especially among the women entrepreneurs. Our main beneficiaries rather target uh, the informal women group. The main idea is to empower and mobilize these entrepreneurs uh, from not collectors and uh, processors to uh, wholesalers with the view of exporting uh, the products, uh, particularly to Uganda and Kenya. This workshop has totally changed my my mindset. Initially, we all think about trying to run out there, look for a job in an office, get that office job, and get that daily income that comes at the end. And also the jobs are not very many, as some of us, most of us, do not have that level of education that's needed. Right now, they have changed our mindset into business. We are now becoming entrepreneurs. Uh, these things here, there are plenty, yeah, especially in our area, but we did not know the economic uh, impact of it. But after receiving that training, then we know that it is really of great importance. Our direct beneficiaries are 150 women entrepreneurs, but we included uh, training of the community leaders where these uh, sea nuts are collected from. So we involve them uh, as part of the collectors. That results into job creation, the aspect of employability. Now we know the importance of these sea uh, nuts. We are going to produce, then we are going to earn uh, income out of it. By this income, we are going to we have to uh, pay our children's school fees and we are going to earn money to do some other activities. I'm actually already marketing myself out there as someone who can produce uh, chia butter and for export and as someone who can also export the nuts themselves. So the biggest change it has made for me is I'm now a businesswoman. East Africa's thriving creative populace, of which its youthful inhabitants are increasingly at the forefront, has never been more determined to use arts, technology, education and trade to further grow their region. Uh, we are involved in promotion of an, an enabling environment for logistics and this entails helping the people to have an efficient logistics supply chain. As a member of the private sector, it's in our interest that the logistics is adequate and reliable and efficient for the manufacturers, exporters and importers. So under CAPSA, we, we lobby and advocate for an enabling business environment, both in the EAC region and also nationally, that is in the Kenyan local context. Women have been provided a platform on especially issues of cross-border trade, by uh, small-scale uh, women groups and yeah uh, that's all in the spirit of integration I mean when you're talking about integrate integrating the region we are looking at is everyone involved in the process and uh, this platform the idea project has given uh, opportunities to such uh, groups vulnerable groups that are not actually part of the bigger picture in a way we're bringing them on board because I mean the ESC uh, treaty says it's a people-centered, integration and market-driven. So for us, we thought uh, bringing the people that we think are left behind on board would be streamlining the whole integration process. I think the idea project is centered on the people in in the sense of bringing them to appreciate what they can do together between themselves and to develop projects in innovative ways of participating or enhancing their participation in the regional integration to the projects that they develop and implement across the, the borders. As a way of strategically positioning and economically propelling the region to even greater heights, the Incubator for Integration and Development in East Africa, IDEA, a brainchild of the EAC Secretariat, the Regional Dialogue Committee in collaboration with GIZ, 
works as a tool for engaging citizens of the East African Community Partners in the implementation of the EAC Common Market Protocol and showcase their real integration experiences. I don't think integration is yet a dream for many people because many people don't know about integration. And this is where IDEA comes in and supports organizations who are working cross-border and, and give a good example of integration. IDEA to me in a nutshell is what I call an innovative instrument. It's a small grant that supports innovative ideas from citizens emanating from private sector, civil society and other interest groups. A good example is always from Europe. I'm from Europe where integration became a reality and for me personally it became a reality when I had an advantage. I was studying in different countries, I learned other languages and this is similar to idea. There are people who are doing something in, in another country, is another country, going across borders. And this is what idea shows. We have seen a number of projects which have been implemented successfully across the partner states. For example, the Saudi trade information portal has evolved from Kenya and Uganda and moved to Rwanda and Burundi. And this has shown that the East African cooperation is enabling these innovators to actually innovate projects and implement them successfully with the view of supporting the implementation of the common market. The regional integration is a process, it's just starting. It's starting with the East African community, the secretariat, but the idea projects are people who who move across borders, who have a business, who do something in more than one East African country. We are focusing from a bottom top approach, whereby citizens influences what takes place at the regional level or at the policy making level. The German government is supporting the vision and, and the essence of integration for many, many years because we believe that when, when countries integrate, cooperate, work together, there are bigger markets, people can move, people have more opportunities. Um, and and the idea is, is focusing on the people aspect of the integration. There are other, other aspects which are, we are supporting, but the people aspect where they then really move and, and benefit and trade across borders, this is um, part of a long process which the German government is supporting. To date, IDEA has provided support to 25 pioneering projects from across East Africa, focusing on issues that range from trade facilitation technological innovation, cultural exchange, gender equality, youth empowerment, cross-border mobility, and many more. Ultimately, IDEA works together with partners that not only highlight the diversity of East African integration, but also those that push towards holistic and cooperative development. We represent the voices of civil society and we strengthen their their collaboration with the East African community and on driving the agenda of the East African community. One part of this approach and this support has always been support to civil society and uh, the private sector. Because the understanding is that integration without democratization, meaning to say participation of the society, will not succeed. We came into developing the idea uh, in order to make the um, East African integration uh, implementation work for the citizens, normal citizens, um, with a bottom-up approach. We wanted to see whether the people themselves would have ideas on EAC, the community as such, on uh, integration, on common market, on mobility within the region. Idea came on a very good time because of this inter integration to help in uh, pushing the agenda of common market. It's a project that welcomes everybody to feel that he or she belongs to this region. Forming part of the social economic infrastructure that supports East Africa communities' well-being through integration the services and activities developed and delivered from the IDEA projects have helped bring people together and improved the strengthened cross-border trade, regional growth and enhanced sustainability. IDEA has been one of the best uh, projects uh, so far 
because it has been able to reach uh, the common mwananchi, if I may say, those who may not have an opportunity to participate in the ESC integration process. And I want to pick specifically the issue of bringing uh, together small and medium enterprises in the EAC by enabling them to get trade information which was previously not available within the East Africa. We had no mechanism or a platform for accessing trade information. So when we look through the entire ecosystem, cross-border trade ecosystem, uh, we did realize that the problem that most of these traders face is lack of information. And on many occasions, it will be considered that maybe this information was never easily available or it was being withheld from them. So we say that maybe the best thing that needs to happen is to make them access the information that they need so they can always make informed decisions as far as business is concerned. When I wake up, the first thing I do is to look for what is the exchange rate of today before I come out of my bed. So by the time I'm going to the money changer, I already know what I'm expecting. He will not cheat me now. This morning, I have managed to buy sugar from Rwanda because I have received message from Saudi and I have known prices from Rwanda market. So I have managed to buy a sack of of, of sugar, which I, I have put in my school for the pupils to put in, in, the, in, the sugar, in the porridge when they are taking it in the morning. Today, it is possible for cross-border traders to be able to receive real-time prices of goods in over 100 markets. And they are also able to receive and confirm exchange rates within the EAC which make it very easy for them to be able to trade goods across the border. What makes this innovative is the fact that we're using a technology that they all have access to. Uh, most of these women have access to mobile phones. Unfortunately, the kind of phones they have are just simple feature phones. So we decided to come up with a technology that can work on those kind of phones. So that is why we came up with a USSD. So through this technology, people are able to access information, including prices of commodities across the East African community. People are able to access real-time exchange rates, also be in a position to access. Uh, tailor-made procedures for accessing the border. So we believe that through this, obviously, they will be in a position to understand uh, what the obligations are as a citizen of the East African community and to a great extent, we also be in a position to fight for what their rights. We have three main areas that we work in. One, we offer advisory services to businesses and industry. The other work that we do is that we support business membership organizations. We capacity build them. We do work related to regional integration, trade policy, and regulatory reform. Our idea project is called the EAC Marketplace. The, the EAC framework sets for you the market. It sets for you the framework to enhance regional integration and to enhance trade and investment across the region. But it doesn't tell you where are the opportunities. But if you are a small and medium enterprise, it is quite a challenge. Where do you start? Where are these opportunities? And that's where the idea came from. So what we are doing under the EAC marketplace is looking at two specific sectors, finished leather products and processed fruit juice markets and you go into the market and look at it from the perspective of how big is this market in the EAC, where are the opportunities in the EAC and if a small and medium enterprise company wanted say to tap into an opportunity in Tanzania if they are in Kenya or in Uganda if they are in Tanzania, how do they go about it and that's what our project aims to do. The IDEA project thus unlocks the growth potential of the East African region by examining constraints and identifying strategies for growth. At IDEA, we believe that our investment in the people of East Africa and their communities and focus on their experiences as co-drivers and owners of the integration process serves as a catalyst in unlocking the great potential of the East African region. Uh, women in the cross-border trade uh, don't have access to information, especially on where to get uh, commodities in both countries. Um, the innovation uh, in this project 
lies in uh, using uh, mobile phones uh, to inquire prices, not only uh, using a voice call, but also uh, using uh, SMS and uh, applications. Most I use Airtel. It has helped me to market. Basically, actually, me I've, I'm not in current trade, but my husband is. He trades, he has been in Masindi trading in maize. So when I showed him the platform, it was very easy for him to connect and to find out where he has been supplying, is it the right places? And to find out, I've been supplying Kampala. Now if I take to bus here, am I going to benefit? So it has been good and uh, right now I even receive messages of the updates like when I, I keep consulting about uh, maybe I've been consulting about GNATS because me personally I'm dealing in GNATS uh, in, from Arua, from Guru, they update me now. We uh, served uh, 50 beneficiaries on the side of Rwanda and uh, 50 beneficiaries on the side of Uganda. Uh, that is uh, 100 women. They give you the details, then you change. You can see Busia or Kabare or Chigari or the rest, the other parts of borders. Then we talk to them. I really use that platform. Then you get the, pl the prices and the quality you want. They have uh, managed to get uh, buyers uh, who are far from the border. You know, before uh, uh, women cross-border traders used to buy uh, commodities from middlemen. But uh, today, they can go far uh, inside the country, inside Rwanda and Uganda, to get, uh, I mean, commodities at lower prices. The idea of IDEA project is to document and uh, showcase of showcase the experiences and success stories for women in a former cross-border women on cross-border trek with the view of inspiring other women in Burundi and Rwanda. But the project began start in Burundi. Sisi kweli tumefuraia kwa maana katika hivyo biashara yetu kuhusu na yeye wametuunga mkono kuhusu kijuzi kwa maana tulikuwa mbele tukichurufanya biashara kutokuelewa hatukua tunajua kama mama naye pia anaweza kulisha familia kindani lakini kupitia ile ujuzi amekuja akatuonesha mwangaza hivi kwa leo nimeshafika kununua congelatere mbili za kwangu hata ndani nyumba yangu mume wangu tumeshapata franga kununua ekipe Iyo yote na changia kutokana na mafundisho ambayo tumepata. Ingine mabadiliko, watoto wangu wote wanasoma. Na changia pia kwa kutoa takse. Na zile takse nilijua kuwa zinarujia tena kwetu, wanajenga barabara, maupitali, ni kwa njia ya ile mabadiliko na mimi juu. Na changia kwa ule mtaji kidogo, na tumika sipiti njia panya, na changia ngambo nyingine. Mimi kupitia hizo kazi zangu ninasomesha watoto. Na wasomesha watoto umoja na tamaliza pala medikali kupitia ile biashara yangu kidogo kidogo. Na ninalisha watoto jamaa yangu yote inaniangalia ni mimi kwa maana mimi ndio mkubwa ndani ya familia. Kweli ninawashukuru wamenisaidia sana kupitia hiyo ujuzi wanao na mimi wakanipatia pia na mimi kesho wala kesho yake nitapatia wengine huyo ujuzi. Mtu hao akina mama wote unyona na tuko nao hapa. Njo hivyo maisha alibadilikaga. Wengi hapa tuko na wajane, tuko na wenyewe wao zao walitokaga wakaenda, anaenda na kuachia watoto watano, wa sita. Lakini pako wenyewe nijua tuna muda walijenga nyumba za kwao kupitia ya mafundisho na huu msaada wenye tulitoa kutoka kwa Kafem. We are partnering with IDEA in a project called Easy Travel East Africa, where we are unifying the bus travel across the region. Our goal is to increase cross-border movement in the region, and through this, we'll foster the East African integration.
many people have to walk to the stages or the so-called bus stations to preview or maybe to inquire about the services regarding travel. This has been cumbersome. In order to, re to reduce the hassle, we are coming up with a unified platform where we will offer the services, both booking and reservation, together with the customer service to all the travelers, be it cross-border or nationally, in the East African region. There has been introduction of the East African Tourist Visa that allows free movement of tourists from one East African country to another one. This has eased our approach towards travelers who, to, who are tourists to book one ticket with ease and travel across the region. That is one thing that we thank the East African community for. And our target group uh, is made of pregnant women, especially the one in the, in the first term of their pregnancy. In Burundi, only less than 37% of mothers attend the antenatal care, whereas in Rwanda it's less than 44%. We are trying to f we figure out the most innovative ways to address the situation, to make sure that all the government efforts are going together with evidence, with good results, with the, with with the mother's health that is being improved. The integration process is, is making a way for this project because this project cannot be possible, cannot be carried out between two countries when, it cannot, when there is no freedom. The process is slow because integration has been more theoretical. To make it going faster, there should be such great initiative, great projects that really help the countries to move together with some shared initiative which will be which will allow the people to move to to feel like if a Burundian lives Burundi can feel like he's at home in Uganda, in Kenya, something like that. There should be more projects, more projects to promote integration, to promote much brotherhood. By engaging the great people of East Africa in small-scale innovative projects and using the bottom-up approach, we are developing human skills and investing in projects and initiatives that offer equal opportunities that are geared towards the realization of the East African community integration dream.